In winter, one loon stays just short of the farthest old piers. Perhaps it is not always the same loon. The light this sun-diminished season seems continual, and it makes little difference if it's dawn or evening. In reflection, the loon seems not so cold. The window mirrors my eyes against haze. The loon stills the air between us. Well, it's like I was saying, let's tell somebody that in the springtime I go driving around and I look for people with chickens. And I've driven all over this Jefferson County looking for people with chickens. And you'd be surprised how many people don't have chickens. I think that's a shame. They should, they should at least have five, four or five chickens in their backyard. They get fresh eggs that way. But, uh, you, you know, everybody's lazy nowadays. They're afraid they'll cause them too much work. So they'd rather go buy those Safeway eggs and they, they ain't worth a damn. So uh, I want to ask you, Edward, about, um, you, you don't talk about your twin brother very much, but I know that you have one. And uh, I, first of all, I want to know um, if I can come back sometime and interview him. Well, sure, if, 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 if he'll put up with you. He's, a, he's a kind of a disoriented sometimes, and he's quite disagreeable at other times. But if you hit it right, why, uh, you, you could do that. But, okay. Uh, well, can you tell me about him a little bit? His name is what, Edwin? Yeah, well, we were, we were, we were born in, on June 28th, 1935. And um, it represented a, a dilemma for our folks because uh, I, I, being the firstborn male, would uh, be named Edward. And uh, then all of a sudden, two males showed up, and they uh, they didn't know what to do about it. And finally, they decided they would call him Edwin, and uh, they would both give us the nomenclature Little Eddie, which had been carried down through the generations, about four or five generations that I know of, were Little Eddies. And, uh, well, when we were quite young, we were, you know, we were uh, identical twins, and we were, we were inseparable. Whenever they tried to separate us, we'd fight like hell. And uh, so we had decided that uh, as soon as we were old enough, we would run away and become cowboys, except that um, uh, it happened when we were about 13 or 14, Edwin was uh, inflicted with a, an accident that, uh, that uh, destroyed uh, his, uh, his thinking to some extent. And uh, he, what happened was uh, we were working the old horse we had and and trying to make him do things, and Edwin tried to jump him over a feed trough, and at the last minute the horse turned, and Edwin didn't, and he fell into the feed trough, and and it, uh, I, I thought he was dead. He, he was knocked out for a good 10 or 15 minutes, and when he came to, his mind was all scrambled. He didn't remember things. So it's a, a tremendously difficult to get people to understand that uh, that we're two different fellas and uh, and uh, really were two different names but um, you know Ed, Edward uh, well he's I don't know how those things happen but 
being as we were identical, and he he's a little little funny. He's uh, he always uh, he always was, and uh, he he didn't take out on any of this normal activity of life. He just became a uh, uh, he was always into art and uh, things like that. He was drawing pictures of everybody when he was a kid. And uh, they, they, he'd, they'd give him the lunch money for a picture of him. But um, so it's, uh, it's tremendously difficult to get people to understand that, uh, that we're two different fellas and, uh, and uh, really we're two different names. But, um, you know, Ed, Edward, uh, well, he's, I don't know how those things happen, but being as we were identical and, he he's a little little funny. He's uh, he always uh, he always was, and uh, he he didn't take out on any of this normal activity of life. He just became a uh, uh, he was always into art and uh, things like that. He was drawing pictures of everybody when he was a kid, and uh, they they they'd, they'd give him the lunch money for a picture of him, but. Um, he thinks he's better than I am. He always uh, uh, thinks that uh, because he got all that notoriety when he was young, that uh, I didn't amount to much. And so when it came time for me to leave, why Ed when he couldn't leave, he says, I, I don't see any reason to go anywhere. I, I, so he stayed at home and he, he worked the farm by himself after Dad died, which was about two years after I left. Dad took over, and, and he worked the, worked the farm until two years ago. He was going to go on a road trip, and so he came here, and he, he just showed up on my doorstep one day and uh, announced to he had come to see me, but then he never left. I don't have much to do with him. You know, he's he's uh, from a different uh, time and space, they say. So you don't yeah. really understand what the hell he's doing with his art? Oh, hell no. I, I just don't understand that stuff at all, you know. Uh, I, I don't know why he couldn't paint some good pictures of the, the scenery or, or some, some nudes or, or some portraits or something you could understand but but he's uh, he's developed some odd 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 stuff you know and i don't even try to understand him now he's uh goes ahead and does it and i i guess he's pretty serious about it he's into working on it every day but uh i don't uh i don't see much come of it he's uh he doesn't have a gallery now he doesn't have anybody to show he's working I, I tell him all the time, that's because that's what he paints. That crap is just uh, uh, too much for people to want to understand. They don't want to understand it.
art is uh, is uh, is myself, and it's a way of doing things, and uh, it's uh, the, the entire world uh, around me, and and uh, uh, I I couldn't think of it as anything else. Well, I'm curious because I've asked a lot of people in the community here, and everybody is sort of flummoxed. They don't know that you have a brother. They don't believe that you have a brother. They've never seen your brother. Well, my brother is uh, wants it that way. He's uh, he's a very private person. Uh, one day he he went in and. Secretly, he bought them some chickens, but I didn't know it. I was at the Senex and I was buying fertilizer for my vegetable gardens, and and uh, he's found some buffarbingtons there that my uh, grandfather had used to raise this, the buffarbington chickens, and see, he found some baby chicks, and he bought ten of them, and. Uh, when I came out to the uh, to the car, it, he was sitting in there with his box uh, on his lap. Uh, they were all cheap and pretty good. I said, "What do you got there?" And he says, "I got chickens." And I says, uh, "What are you going to do with chickens?" He says, "Well, they're about four pigeons." Well, uh, that answered to everything. For me, <clears throat> so I said, "Well, we then we better go home and uh, build him a, a chicken house." And I knew at that time that uh, he would always, always uh, be with me again. So we built uh, not only the chickens a house, but we built him a little house to live in uh, off the side. And, now he's just developed his uh, chickens, and he raises many kinds, and he's done this all on his own, and uh, he's a very happy man, as long as uh, people don't bother him, and and uh, so that's uh, and the, you know that's about the same time that I uh, uh, gave up on the gallery, and uh, my uh, my uh, involvement with the society much and I didn't uh, see many friends or have many friends uh, either. I just leave him alone with all that stuff. So does uh, he try to talk to you about his work or do you guys talk no. very much? Or? Oh he, he no no we don't talk about his work at all. I don't know what to say about it and uh, he doesn't know how to explain it to me and in fact, I don't think he can explain it very well to anybody. But, uh, but um, I I don't even know if you could call it work. I don't think it works. He just enjoys himself, yeah, that uh, doing that stuff. It's uh, it's a pain in the ass. If he'd get himself a half dozen chickens and uh, and uh, work in the farm here, it'd be all right. He sort of stays by himself mostly. And I guess I do too. We don't have any uh, desire to to get involved with one another now. You know, it's almost almost uh, door shutting time anyway. So we just leave things alone. Sometimes we'll eat together, and uh, you know, he's he had a couple of wives. He was married a couple of times, and and uh, they both throwed him over. For some other per some other man, and he 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 decided that that was a terrible thing that done that, and so he came home to live, and then uh, he's just uh, been here ever since. But he he hasn't been any problem for me. He hasn't given me any problems. He just does, he stays by himself and does his own work and draws his social security check like I do, and. and uh, so, so we make out pretty good. I talked to your brother a couple of days ago. I came back and chatted with Edwin. And um, he had some kind of interesting things. Uh, he talked a lot about your art. He doesn't 
hold much stock in it at all. <laughs> um, he, he said, also, I was curious because um, he has a little different version of the whole thing. Uh, from what he told me was that you actually came to live with him, that, um, that you'd had sort of a couple of unsuccessful marriages and you were rather reclusive and uh, he just sort of let you come in and sort of takes care of you. I mean, that's the sense I got. Well, that, that, that's amazing you got that much out of him. <clears throat> he usually doesn't talk that much, but um, I, I don't know whether uh, I want to dispute what he says or not. Thank mm -hmm. you.